Good evening and welcome to the DCU 24 hour vlog. Nope, can't okay, again. <laughs> oh, good evening and welcome to the vlog. This is the first vlog of 2019, and you want to mean that the first vlog of 2019 means? If it's the first one, it means it has to be the best one. So remember that, people. So, what have I got this week? Well, I've just come back from Canvassing with Angus and Wayne on. This lovely dude right here. And as you know, I'm part of the DCU Social Democrats. So, I'm just going to say straight first, if anyone's out on the Monday next week, if they're nearby in Ongert, then please come around. But otherwise, I've got a great week in store for you. I'm going to be off in Brussels for the next three days. Then i got boring old lectures on Friday. But at least on Saturday, I've got another Planned International Youth Advisory Panel. So if you want to see more of the vlog, make sure to hit like, keep watching, and wonder why I have a suitcase. It's not like I'm going on a trip to Brussels or anything. The thing about canvassing though is, the fact you don't even realise you're getting mild hypothermia in what feels like freezing the conditions, even though the best Aaron says it's otherwise. <laughs> Help! Oh, look at that, that's so cute. Oh, welcome to Brussels. Not much happening tonight. Unfortunately, I don't think there'll be much happening tonight by eating. But otherwise, I'll stick with you tomorrow. It's absolutely freezing out here. Probably you think it's going to be supposed to be snowing or as bad as cold as Dublin. So there you go for that and probably delayed flights and whatnot. But otherwise, hopefully you'll stick around for tomorrow and the most exciting day by guaranteed. Except the day after, but don't count that. Welcome to day two of the vlog. Currently, it's about the lovely early time of 7.20. If we look outside, it's actually possibly snowing, probably sleeting, but you know, there's a bit of stickiness, I'll take it. And otherwise, I've got a busy day, got to get some accreditation. Also got to get, get some other stuff, like sort of meeting with MEPs, sort of whatnot. So it's going to be an exciting day, and hope you're all ready to join. Wait, my coat, crap, oh well. Apologies for being late. Um, uh, as was said, uh, I'm the MEP, an MEP from the Midlands West constituency. It uh, takes up uh, 15 counties. Whether it is a bad deal, it is going to be bad for Ireland and it's going to be bad for us. And we have an excuse with either of us. And why shouldn't we be afforded the opportunity to have that conversation? Clean up back home and uh, attend to the So that's really what I do. Minute B, 6. Посадка заканчивается. So, that was my three days in Brussels. I ended up being the only student journalist from DCU, not even doing journalism, and mainly stuck with people from DIT and NUIG, which sounds bad in theory, but it actually turned out to be a really good experience, and even got a few tips from my politics radio show coming next week on DCU FM at 3, from 3 to 4 p.m., so keep listening then. I also got to be 9 of the 11 MVPs for Ireland, which is an absolutely amazing time. I even got to shake the hand of Maureen McGuinness, who's the Vice President of the European Parliament, I believe. And I also got to be the factor journalist, I also having about 8 security checks for going through the Parliament and any other building in the EU each and every single time. So I think that kind of got annoying at the event, 
MNG at the end. Even if you did have your pass, you still had to also show that, so. But I've no regrets about missing lectures or anything like that, so that was amazing otherwise. So, today, it's Friday, I'm back home. And I got the mess, I got the funny thing about the timetable. I ended up being much more of a mess myself than timetable and ended up coming at 11 for the lecture I thought I had and then ended up not having any lectures till 12. So that probably tells you enough. And I also have to say in advance, Dylan Mangan, I'm very sorry with all the messages I sent to you. I just can't read. I'm probably illiterate, so don't worry about that. But don't worry, the time, the time will stick to this week and definitely other weeks that because I can't read a five letter combination. Otherwise, tomorrow I got an early wake up for the plan in Ireland, even, youth advisory panel meeting in Dublin in the Carmelite Community Centre. So you stay tuned for that and I'll tell you more about that when I get back home and get some good sleep. That was my week. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to stay hydrated and thank you for watching the vlog and see you some other time, probably next week. Bye!